Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about proteinuria. Proteinuria is high levels of protein in urine. Normal protein excretion in urine is less than 150 mg per day. If the protein excretion in urine is more than 150 mg per day, it is known as proteinuria. And the normal albumin excretion should be less than 30 mg per day. When albumin is abnormally present in the urine, it is known as albuminuria. Almost half of the protein lost in the normal urine is derived from distal tubule, known as Tram Horsfall Glycoprotein or THG. Coming to the types of proteinuria, proteinuria could be functional or organic. Could be functional or organic. First one is functional proteinuria. This functional proteinuria is due to physiological or biological stress on the kidneys. Physiological or biological stress on kidneys. And it is not accompanied by any symptoms of kidney disease. In the case of organic proteinuria, it is organic proteinuria is due to Involvement of kidneys or other organs. This uh, organic proteinuria is associated with nephron damage. Coming to this uh, functional proteinuria. Functional proteinuria is due to hemodynamic changes. Hemodynamic changes which are reversible. Reversible means this proteinuria disappears when the precipitating factors are resolved. Coming to the causes of functional proteinuria. Functional proteinuria causes include a strenuous exercise, then fever, Extremes of heat or cold, then seizures, etc. These are the major causes of functional proteinuria. And the pathological conditions that can cause organic proteinuria, we can divide it as three major groups. This causes of this organic proteinuria, we can uh, classify it as three major groups. That is pre-renal, renal and post-renal. Coming to pre-renal proteinuria, this is associated with accumulation of low molecular weight proteins in the bloodstream. Low molecular proteins means uh, myoglobin, hemoglobin, then Benz-Jones proteins, etc. Which can be filtered in the glomerulus, which leads to increased protein concentration in the urine and failure of complete reabsorption by tubular cells. This pre-renal proteinuria is associated with the accumulation of low molecular weight proteins in the bloodstream, like Myoglobin, hemoglobin and uh, this Benz-Jones proteins etc. Which can be filtered in the glomerulus which leads to increased protein in the urine and uh, failure of complete reabsorption by the tubular cells. As it is caused by conditions affecting the plasma, it is not indicative of actual renal disease. And it can result from fever, then exercise, 
from fever uh, exercise then multiple myeloma then intestinal obstruction intra abdominal tumor this can cause pre renal proteinuria coming to renal proteinuria this renal proteinuria results from damage to glomerulus or tubule glomerulus or tubule for example glomerulonephritis then nephrotic syndrome then renal tube uh, renal tumor or infection this can cause renal proteinuria coming to post renal proteinuria post renal proteinuria this occurs with the inflammation of the urinary tract inflammation of urinary tract as in acute and chronic cystitis then prostatitis then ure urethritis etc so these are the causes of post renal organic proteinuria this post uh, organic proteinuria can be of uh, the causes of this uh, organic proteinuria can be divided into pre renal renal and post renal in the pre renal it is associated with the accumulation of no molecular weight proteins in the blood stream which can be filtered in the glomerulus which leads to increased protein concentration in urine and failure of complete reabsorption by tubular cells renal proteinuria results from damage to glomerulus or tubule for example glomerulonephritis nephrotic syndrome etc post renal means it occurs with the inflammation of the urinary tract these are the types of proteinuria coming to the complications of proteinuria proteinuria is an early sign of chronic kidney disease and it, it may cause hypo albuminemia then coronary heart disease then gastrointestinal hemorrhage edema then increased tubular protein reabsorption then increased susceptibility to infections these are the major complications of proteinuria coming to the symptoms of proteinuria symptoms major symptoms include in the early stages proteinuria may not cause any uh, visible symptoms and the visible symptoms include edema in the face feet or ankles and abdomen face feet or ankles and edema in abdomen then foamy urine then tiredness then nausea and vomiting puffiness around the eyes then frequent urination so these are the major symptoms of proteinuria coming to the diagnostic test of uh, proteinuria twenty four hour urinalysis is there then electrophoresis is there the dipstick method then 
protein creatinine ratio. These are the major tests for, for, tests for this protein urea. Next one, treatment. Treatment depends on underlying cause. And the treatment may include medication, medicines, then lifestyle changes and diet changes. These are the treatment options. So this is about protein urea. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.